this video, we talk about the myth of the born leader. But before I do, for more tools and help on how to raise your child's self-esteem, click on the link on this video or visit toddgaster.com. So when we talk about born leaders, what is it that we mean? Well, first off, they don't exist. We, we find that people may be more outgoing, they more be, may be more vocal, they may be more impactful, but this doesn't mean they were a born leader. A born leader, see, a leader is someone who was taught. They learned by being mentored. They learned by being coached. They learned by watching somebody else. This is where we have in the old days of the time of apprenticeship. When you look at all great leaders throughout life, throughout history, you will find that they all had a specific mentor, a specific coach in their life who taught them how to be great at what it was that they do. A lot of times I look at football, look at coaches, and I look at the trees that they, that they have, their coaching trees that they have. And you look at Hayden Fry, who was a coach of the Iowa Hawkeyes, and while he was, I'm gonna say it, maybe an average football coach, he was an incredible leader, not by what he was able to do on the field, but what he was able to do through his mentorship. He, Hayden Fry is responsible for more other Division I football coaches than any other coach in the history because he was able to create more leaders. He was able to mentor them, able to coach them. So again, when you look at all the, the myth of the born leader, there is none. Parents can take a, a very active part in raising leaders in, in their home, in raising leaders with their children. By number one, becoming worthy of being a leader, by living a life that is worthy of being followed. See, a lot of times people want to be a leader but they have no one following them. They haven't gone there first. They talk a lot about theory. And so when we're raising our kids, when we're teaching them how to be leaders, we have to have been there first. We have had to have been a leader ourselves. Now that could be a leader in health. It could be a leader in fitness. It could be a leader in finance. It could be a leader in relationships. We have to demonstrate to our kids what a leader is, how they are built, how they are made. And then that, what that allows is our children, when they build their inner esteem, when they build their leadership model, that allows them to step out into the world and be leaders for true change in the world. You're watching this video because you're all too familiar with how deeply this is affecting your child. You need to know that you're not alone. I talk with parents and guardians of great kids who are going through a lot of this unnecessarily. As parents, we were never taught how to help our kids through these tough situations. So we wipe the tears, give them a hug, meet with teachers and try to figure out how to truly help our kids all on our own. But to really help our kids, we need to be proactive and equip them to face these daily challenges with a deep confidence and a solid self-esteem. I've created a free online training that confronts these problems and gives you simple solutions that you and your child can work through to raise their inner esteem. I've designed this training to empower you to teach them how they can thrive from within and protect them against the potentially abusive relationships socially created personality problems, and discern and avoid poisonous people. Raising your child's self-esteem will also allow them to reach their highest and best potentials, become completely bullyproof, access their inner genius, do well in school, attract friends to them, healthfully keep off or shed unwanted pounds, and live a truly passion-filled, incredible life. So click on the link to the right or below this video and join me in helping your child live the life they were designed to live.